<clears throat> oh, good morning. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Honduran and coffee is good. Thank God the devil is defeated. And the word works. I've been talking to you the last couple of days about quit making excuses because you can, the devil says you can't, but you can. All things are possible to him that believes. In fact, Jesus put it another way, nothing, no thing is impossible to him that believes. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, even though in my natural mind, I don't have the ability. Well, I got to thinking about that the other day, and I was talking to a friend of mine, Roger Cook, and we got to talking about it. So I'll talk to you about Gideon. You find this over in the book of uh, Judges, chapter 6. I want to show you what God said about Gideon and, and you and I fit in this category. So the children of Israel had been held in bondage by the Midianites for quite some time. Few generations there, I like to drop my Bible. And, and God wanted to deliver them all the time, but when they began to pray, I forgot what verse it is over here. Um, and it came to pass, verse 7, when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the idiot, Midian, Idiomites, <laughs> Midianites, then God wanted them delivered, but he needed someone to deliver them. Well, he chose Gideon. Now watch this. This is what God said about Gideon. <clears throat> and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, that the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. God called him a mighty man <clears throat> of valor. God calls things that be not as though they were. God called you healed, and you need to agree with that because it's up to you. Now watch this. Now when Gideon heard this, look at what he said. And Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord had been with us, we wouldn't be in this situation. Uh, you've forgotten us. You've forsaken us. That's all in verse 13. Uh, and, and you delivered us into their hands. See, he blamed it on God. That goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 3. Adam tried to blame God for what God did. We all have a tendency to want to blame God. Well, you're the one letting me be sick. Uh, you're the one that, you know, lost my, you took my job and I can't pay my bills. Don't blame God. Go get you another job. Start saying what the Word says and quit blaming God for your problems. Well, I'm going to just stay on that. I'll finish this tomorrow. Quit blaming God for your situation and get out of that situation with the help of God. Now, I'm not at all indicating that you got to do it on your own, nor am I indicating is God helps those that help themselves. But what I'm saying is you got to quit making excuses and believing that God's Word is true rather than what you think is true. Gideon said, you created it, you put us in this mess, and if you hadn't have forsaken us, you would have delivered us. That's the attitude a lot of Christians have, that God lets you be sick, and they preach it from the pulpit. Well, the Lord allowed it. Oh, bull. He said, the choice is yours. So quit accepting defeat, accepting the misery, and telling God that it's his fault, and start telling God that you can do it because he said you could. Hey, I got to go, saints. Quit making excuses and believe what the Word says rather than what the devil says, and you'll get out of that situation in Jesus' name. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works.